To get started, I am going to be using a little over three and a half pounds of boneless pork shoulder. This particular package is especially made for carnitas. It is already cut into large chunks. Now, if you are using a whole pork shoulder, you can cut your chunks into around two to three inch pieces. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is preheat a large pot. I am actually using a large Dutch oven, but you can use what you have available. Once my pot is preheated, I'm going to add one pound of lard. Yes, 16 ounce container of lard. If you choose not to use lard, then I would suggest using a high smoke point oil. But when you make carnitas, you gotta use lard. And if you're worried about your cholesterol, you probably shouldn't be eating carnitas anyways. So my suggestion, just stick with the lard. So now that everything is preheated, I'm going to add all of my meat into the pot. I would like to mention that when you are preheating your oil in your pot, do not use a high heat. You want to use a medium, no higher than a medium high heat. And I do also suggest to adjust your cooking temp according to what you are using. If you're using an electric stove, it's going to be a lot different than a gas stove. So just keep an eye on your oil and your meat. Now I am going to make sure that everything is nice and submerged in the pot and I am going to allow it to cook on one side for 30 minutes. And I might move it around a little bit just to make sure it doesn't burn, but ultimately you do want to get a nice brown color on the bottom of your meat that's cooking. Okay, at this point it has been 30 minutes, so now I'm just going to flip it on the opposite side and allow it to continue cooking for another 30 minutes. And at this point you only have your lard and your pork, and as you can see it got a really nice golden brown color, and that was achieved because I really did not move the meat in the pan during the 30 minutes. So I'm just going to repeat the process for the other side. Now for the seasonings and spices. I'm going to be using two teaspoons of salt, four cloves of garlic, one large bay leaf, one large orange, and the juice of the orange. I'm going to slice it open and squeeze all the juice out. Ultimately, you want to end up with a third cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. And if that means cutting two oranges, so be it. But I am going to use one whole orange to put in the pot. I'm also going to be using a third cup of evaporated milk. And yes, I know that is a weird thing to put in frying boiling meat, but trust me, it really does make a difference. And I'm also going to be using a full cup of Coca-Cola. Again, another odd ingredient, but it really does add wonderful color and flavor to the meat. So here we go.
Okay, so now that everything is in the pot, it looks probably horrific at this point if you're not familiar with the way carnitas cook. But trust me, it's going to be great. So I'm just going to give it a mix and I am going to allow it to simmer on a medium heat for an additional hour or until golden brown and fork tender, whichever comes first. It may take a shorter amount of time or it might be longer. And be sure to check your meat and stir occasionally. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I will be making a salsa. So I just grabbed whatever I could in my fridge. I'm using some tomatillos, half of an onion, two Roma tomatoes, garlic, and chile arbol. And I did not have jalapeno, but I am using a poblano pepper. So between the poblano pepper and the chile arbol, that's going to give me the heat in my salsa. I'm just going to cut this in half, place it in the pot with the rest of the ingredients to boil for around 10 minutes until everything gets soft. I'm gonna pop it into the blender, with salt to taste, give it a whirl, and my salsa is done. Okay, so my kitchen smells delicious and my carnitas are done. And as you can see, some of the pieces did get a lot darker and caramelized than others. That's okay, I'll eat those pieces. But it is fork tender. It has a beautiful color, thanks to the milk and the Coca-Cola. So I'm going to pull these out and start making some tacos. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.